Hey everyone! Another acquisition from Fanimation that I got from uh, who we call Chandru. The other one was that uh, Curve Blade Industrial. And uh, this which is like a Union Industrial that's Curve Blade with a switch housing. So yeah, it was one of them weird Franken fans. But this one is a new in box. Leslie Lock Evergo type spinner. There's the there's the box. So all right. Let's get the camera there. I wanted to show the box. New in box. So and I always wanted and I like these Leslie Lock Evergo type spinners and also it does come with let me just grab it. Here is the nipple to make it light kit adaptable. You would screw this where that uh, current nut nipple is, that uh, acorn style nut is on the bottom. Take that nut off and you would screw, screw this acorn type nut on and, uh, and then you would, and there's wires that feed down and, and it is light kit adaptable. I mean, this, for right now, this does have some TLC, but uh, it needs some. It needs some because the bearing had a stiff spot. I think it was the bottom bearing, and I'm, so now it makes like a little noise when it reaches that spot. As I was assembling it, I freed it up. I felt a stiff spot as I spun it, so I worked on freeing it up, but spun, but, uh, but now, yeah, it has that bearing noise there. But also, because it's new in box, it came with its five-speed control box. And this one, of course, is labeled Leslie Lock. So, this time, I'm normally I would just do like an industrial, but I'm going to do, I consider this control box to be factory speeds. So... This is what we do. I got it in place of the decade box as if I were doing IntelliTouch. So I'm going to start with speed 5, which is the lowest. I'm going to let it get up to speed. So this is your speed control that it would come with. Okay, that's the low speed. Let's uh, see how many watts. 28 watts. 0.6 for power factor. Here's speed 4, which is the next speed up. 0.4 amps. 40 watts. Power factor almost 3 quarter. Speed 3. Getting towards the backed off high. <laughs> backed off high, 0.56 amps, 53 watts, and over three quarter power factor. Speed two. Okay, 62 watts. And getting closer to a power factor of one. And speed one. 
which is the highest speed of all. Let's see, 0.7 amps, 81 watts, power factor of one. All right, I'm gonna do an airflow test on this. Oh yeah, I'm really feeling the air. I mean, this thing is flying, really uh, puts out a lot of air. All right, 0.69 is what it's dropped down to. I mean, I'll call this uh, borderline pretty much into K55, which is like Casablanca motor category. And this is definitely beyond, definitely high end of uh, residential spinner. This is definitely a powerful fan. These ever go in Leslie locks. We're rather powerful. Okay, as I said, the bearings may be a little stiff, so we may have a quicker, abrupt spin down since it was new in the box and there was a stiff spot in the bearings, so. We'll see, especially when it gets towards the end. Okay. See, yeah, it was a rather abrupt uh, spin down. So let's see what it does on the decade box. Not sure that it's going to start as uh, low as it should, but we'll see just because of the stiff bearings. So let's go for it. One, two, three, four, five. Six, uh, saw it move, it's struggling. Seven, eight. Yeah, you can tell it's, would have started a lot sooner than that. And so I really don't get like a low speed out of this thing. I mean, this would be a little fast for a low speed at eight. Okay, 0.34 is what it's drawing at eight, nine, 10, 11, Twelve, thirteen. Yeah, normally I would have thought a five eight thirteen would be the control for this, but with the stiff bearings, it's just not starting as low as it should. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. If I had to, I could use an 8, 12, 20. I'm going to hit the high switch. So there's still a difference. So I still get somewhat of a backed off high, but maybe not quite as drastic as I'd like. I'd like there to be a little more of a difference.
So I'm right at high with 20. Or, no I'm not, I actually hit the high switch. So I'm not actually. Okay, so I'm now at 0.58 amps. So I'm below 0.6 on 20. Let's see. 22. See where I go with 22. 25. Twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty-five, thirty-eight. They don't. Hmm. And then 40, I maxed out at 40 microfarads. I'm going to hit the high switch because I'm just a nose hair under. Really close, but so no resonant frequency with this. Okay. Now, let's see what this does on a solid state variable. All right. So, I hear the buzzing. It's, it's rather struggling. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely needing some work on the bearing, possibly a bearing replacement. I don't know if I don't know. Even though these bearings aren't pebble-like, I just I'm not sure it can be saved. Maybe I could, but first of all, I can't get that bearing quiet, and I had to crank it up just to get it to move. See if it's gonna stall. I turned it way down. This may stall, may not be enough to like move it. This looks like it's stalling out. Yep. I don't wanna. Yeah, I wouldn't use this on a solid state either. I could just get it to move. Pinching it up. Yeah, this. Okay, so this current draw is pretty much the same on a solid state high, but there again, just, this thing needs some work. Definitely needs work, so my last thing now is zero to high. Let's see what the inrush is. 
I mean, it runs well on high, but just, yeah, just stiff bearings are the one issue with this one. All right, well, that is all I have for this uh, new in box Leslie Lock spinner fan, this Evergo type fan with the baseball bat type blades. So I'll be back with more fans. Keep watching and subscribing.